Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of this weekend. And welcome to this uh, new full Bitcoin weekend update. To take a look at everything you need to know, uh, we, we got quite a lot of volatility yesterday, but that kind of also evened out uh, throughout uh, throughout uh, the, the, the later part of the day. Like we initially got some bullish momentum from this level right here at 29,800. Uh, as expected, because my general view on Bitcoin, as most of you know, is that right now we are in a consolidation uh, between 29,700 and 31,400. I think that's that's the structure. And overall, I think we're still bullish if you if you zoom out enough. Um, now, we'll talk about some sort of an alternative theory as well in this video. Uh, and that is uh, s somewhat more of a of, of a bearish scenario because in the end, what you also can see, and that's and, and it's objective objectively true. I just interpret it a little bit different. What you can also see is that you know the EMAs, which once served as support, are now turning into resistance, at least on the short term, and uh, and and we are definitely lower than we were the last couple of days, obviously. So. Um, there are some bearish signs as well. I don't think they will they, they will last, but um, you know we, we do have to address them. So that's what we'll do in this video. Now, before we dive into the rest of the video, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, and there you will find instructions on how to join. As you can also see from the top right there, you can also see all of the other perks, and um, yeah, perhaps I'll see you there. But for now, on to Bitcoin. So the main reason why I think this is still a consolidation and not uh, the beginning of a downtrend is, is quite clear. I mean, first of all, I don't think the fundamentals have changed, right? So the fundamentals that pushed us all the way up to these areas, um, like the ETF and just in general, I think Bitcoin was quite bullish because of some, uh, because of some, some more, you know, Bitcoin specific bullish momentum where other cryptos were deemed as securities and were in regulatory, regulatory trouble. Bitcoin actually was doing fine. Um, now, and apart from that, what has also happened since yesterday when we got some positive news events, at least for Bitcoin, with the non-farm payrolls being lower than expected, what we also got is a, not gala, but a relatively, relatively bearish dollar strength index again, uh, which even though the correlation or the inverse cor correlation is a little bit less lately, um, this is bullish for, for Bitcoin. So overall, that's bullish as well. We got a little bit of bullish momentum yesterday because of that. Not conclusive, but uh, that's the main reason why I think we'll just stay in this consolidation. Um, at the beginning of the week, I also said that we would just stay in this consolidation and that I would expect uh, some sort of a, a bullish breakout because that is still what I expect. I think that's the most likely scenario when taking a look at the price action and the fundamentals. Um, so this is something I expect, and my price target is even 34,000, but when this will happen just depends largely uh, on, on fundamental events. Like next week, for example, what we do have is we have an inflation rate. Now, could that actually be enough of a cataclyst? Could that be big enough uh, to push us above 31,400? Maybe. If we're, if we're already towards the top of this consolidation, perhaps that could be the final push pushing us above that level. Um, but apart from that, it's um, it, it's also possible that that final push could come from the uh, from the approval of the of, of the of the ETF. That's a possibility, but um, I do think we'll need some sort of a fundamental cataclyst like that. So I'll have to wait for that. I'll keep you updated on that on the short term. For now, like I said, I think we're in this consolidation, so I expect bullish momentum up towards thirty thousand eight hundred and thirty one thousand again, and a little bit higher. Don't expect that much movement today since it's the weekend, uh, but over the course of the weekend, I expect more volume to get back into the markets and, uh, and to slowly get, get to those uh, um, short-term price targets. But that's my take on Bitcoin for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.